Have you ever wondered how to read a CAT scale ticket? In this video, I'll show you how as we weigh our RV for the very first time. Coming right up. We are still in Cortez, Colorado, and I wanted to get the truck weighed. I've wanted to weigh it since day one, so today is day seven. So it's a good time to do it. Day one didn't really work out. We left too late. We did start to go down a road the other night that had a load limit on a bridge posted. Ended up stopping, backing around, getting out. I want to weigh it so I know precisely how much weight's on the tongue, how much weight's on the truck, and what does the trailer weigh. Pulled into the Maverick here in Cortez and rolled up on the scale, got a weight, and so I've got that report straight from, uh, from Cat here. The road that we turned around on had a limit on the bridge of 13 tons. And I looked at the GVWR of the truck, it was 13,000 pounds, and the potential weight of the trailer was 16,500. And I was thinking, man, we might be 15 tons. So I was concerned about going over it. So as it turns out, my front axle on the truck is 4,840 pounds. My drive axle on the truck, 8,240 pounds. My trailer axle, 14,280 pounds for a grand total of 27,360 pounds or 13.68 tons. I know you're probably wondering, where did I find those weights? So let me show you. Let's take a look at our cat scale ticket. You see over here on the right, you've got several numbers. So the first line is steer axle. What that refers to is the front axle of your tow vehicle. The next line is your drive axle. So again, that is the rear axle of your tow vehicle. The third line is your trailer axle, and that refers to the weight coming through the tires on your trailer. And lastly is the total rig weight. So the way that the scale can give you three unique weights and one total weight is there are three plates on the scale. You put your front axle of your tow vehicle on the first plate, you put your drive axle on the tow vehicle on the second plate, and then you put your trailer axle on the third plate. Now, if you have a trailer with multiple axles, although, I mean, our trailer has two axles, so really we're only looking at the weight on the whole trailer axle. But if you wanted to weigh each independent axle of your trailer, you would have to take your trailer and roll two tires up onto the scale and then get a weight and then roll two other tires on and you would just do those independently. In fact, I've read some places where people actually will put one tire at a time on the scale so that they can understand exactly how the load is distributed on their rig. But we haven't done that yet. So then the scale takes those three weights gives you each independent one and then gives you the combined total so that you understand your total rig weight. And this is really important to know so that if you're like us, you don't end up on some dark road after missing a turn in the middle of the night and having to decide, can I make it over this bridge or not? I was really concerned about that. And so instead we had to back down a two lane road in the dark and then turn around in a place that was not intended for a 60 plus foot rig to turn around at all, which was pretty scary. So if you know better than I do, comment below and tell me, you know, could I have driven across that 13 ton bridge? My gut tells me yes, but I don't know. We'll keep rolling. We're headed to Provo today. Excited to do that. The girls are ready to see some scenery and maybe to uh, watch a movie or two. They want to get to the mountains. We're in the mountains now <clears throat> here in Cortez, Colorado, but it's still 94 degrees, which is pretty toasty. Now they just told me here in the restaurant we just ate at that about 20 minutes away, it's gonna be cooler, we'll be up in the mountains. So I'm hoping that's gonna be the case as we head to Provo. 